and we're live. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to round six of the season six of the ACC Academy. I'm Matt Higgs, and here is my co-commentator for today, Mr. Cole McRae. Cole, introduce yourself. Actually, my name is Xmas Flaxen Jackson Waxen. Oh, that's a new one there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no. How's it going, everyone? I'm doing good uh, today. We were at Spa Francorchamps, the famous Belgian circuit. Spa Francorchamps? No, this isn't the lake where the guy is drowning. Oh, <laughs> Lake Gazagrog. That's a meme. Look yeah, it up, everyone. <laughs> Oh, I just got a, I just got a notification. ESR One is live on Twitch. Well, that's us. Whoa, Hello, everyone. Who, who, who freaking, who freaking guessed? We are on board with Carolina Skanovich as she that's amazing. battles for pole in the Lamborghini. I'm, I'm having a check to our Twitch, and yep, the audio settings sound good. So we are, we're rolling, rolling, rolling with the punches, eh, boys? Always, always. So. We're, we're this is a little bit of a trial run. Um, as you might have guessed, Ayrton Tobin is our usual uh, lead, but he's not here today. He's withdrawing from uh, commentary duties just because he uh, he found a different series he wanted to participate in instead. So it's a I series figured, he couldn't turn down. He said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, whatever." He's a, he's a freaking turncoat. But <laughs> um, I kind of put him down. I, me doing the GT challenge, I had no, uh, I had no qualms of doing Academy as well. But I figured, why? What? What better way to let Matt, Matt Higgs, uh, our, our 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 loyal, devout co-commentator, uh, step into the limelight a little bit? And he said, sure, why not? So, we're giving him a little bit of a, a test. So, so be nice and uh, try and minimize the hate mail. I know the urge is is hard to resist, but you know. Uh, I guess bite your tongue a little bit. We'll get through this. Yeah, we can just send the hate mail to uh, Martin's house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, all those who uh, watched our D295 commentary not too long ago, uh, you, you know Martin's address, so just uh, send it that way, and he'll deal with it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. If you did, didn't watch it, go watch it. It's it's a it's a good time. The hoot. I guess it's a good time as any to plug our, our, our services a little bit. Uh, Discord, ESR Discord, ESR-Race.org. Uh, you'll find all our info there. We also have a YouTube channel. This video is streaming now on Twitch, but it'll be on YouTube shortly after the stream is concluded. Um, and so that's where you'll be able to find this awesome race stream DTM95 commentary we've been talking about. Indeed. I'm currently trying to navigate to our little uh, log. Oh, that's qualifying yeah. over. Uh, Looks like Baker's P1 currently. Well, not quite. All, the 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 checkered flags haven't all popped in yet. It's pretty likely that that's where it'll be, though. Wow, uh, bad qualifying from Lagoshi if he doesn't get up there. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, let's see here. On provisional, yeah. unofficial poll is Mr. Baker, Brandon Baker, that is. Following close behind is John Archie. Then, oh, John Michael Silvestri pops into sec third place there at the end. Yeah. Uh, good, good. So of notes, I'm getting so many, uh, getting so many Discord notifications. I gotta turn off Discord. Yeah, uh, but anyway, of notes, uh, we, I'm taking. I haven't been paying a huge amount of attention to the uh, the standings. That's mostly been Ayrton's uh, forte. But I'll have a quick rundown right now. As it stands, John Archie is on first place in the uh, in the championship standings. He's on right. first place. Yeah, that's it. I was gonna say on pole, but I realized that wasn't correct. So, uh, oops. What? Cole McRae said something wrong. Frick, pff, that never happens. When does I Cole mean, say something right? Oh, John Archie got disqualified. What? What for? Any chance I don't know. We could, any chance we could pop in and uh, have a look see why that is? Hardware issue? Uh, Not, well, and that wouldn't remember result in a disqualification. Well, J er, or Justin should be able to. He'd probably clear that. I mean, I've, I've never seen someone get disqualified before the race starts. That's kind of funny. Huh. Wait a second. I'm going to have to Just... check that out. Maybe, maybe get on the horn a little bit. Um, 
Well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. In any case, back to our standings. Uh, John Archie has 203 points. He's currently leading the championship. Brandon Baker in second with 193, only 10 points out. Uh, John Singer Sargent. I don't recognize that name. Is this the right series we're looking at? Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't remember Sargent. In any case, he's third. And he's 150. Apparently he's I'm driving out. i pop in Discord right here real quick. Just to okay. see what's going on. He's he's uh, running a Lamborghini. Jake Northrup in fourth with 142. Uh, trailed very closely by Arthur Bellotti with 141 in fifth. David Nelson in sixth with 118. Dave Jones falling close behind with 114. And James Butler falling behind him in eighth with 111. Uh, Jean Aldian in ninth with 100. And Takumi Parker is uh, rounding out our top 10 with eight, uh, eight, 97 points. Apologies. So I believe Matt has departed to go talk to the other lads to see get a little clarification on that DQ, which I'm sure is a mis uh, is a misunderstanding. Uh, yes. So we got 16 cars as of now. Plenty of uh, room for carnage. That is a that appears to be our f our uh, our qualifying standings. Let's have a look at the more in depth uh, timetable here. So we can see here that. There's quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, weirdness going on just with the the order. Legoshi with a last minute qualifying breakout into into first place on the pole, of course. Brandon Baker is setting best sector three. Uh, it puts him on second. John Marcos Vestri in third. So the of note between second and third, the qualifying difference is over a second so there's a pretty big gap for the next eight cars though it is within a second so this is going to be close as we get down all right to the i'm back a little bit hello welcome back what's the news apparently archie got he backed up or something so he and i guess the game disqualified him uh oh well are we, i assume we're gonna get a manual restart on that although he is starting from near the back of the pack and so is Lagoshi. What? what? I'm not sure about that. That's Justin like, said he wasn't sure what was going on. That seems like a little bit of shenanigans going on. I feel something is broken that shouldn't be broken. In any case, moving down a little bit, we got uh, in fourth place, uh, Karolina Hiskanovich in fourth with a nice qualifying. James Butler in fifth. Uh, Julio Butler, apologies. Sixth yeah, is Julio David Nelson, Butler. Larry Foster, Jake Northrup. And no, it's Julio Northrup. Oh, who then are the, sorry, and Morris in 17th and 9th, Thomas, Tommaso Pino in 10th, Alex Shine in 11th, Dave Jones 12th, uh, Chris Stephenson in 13th, is it Rod Stewart? Rob Stewart. Rob Stewart, dang it. <laughs> I, I knew it wasn't Rod Stewart, but uh, that's an actor. <laughs> in 14th, uh, Paragini in 15th, and John Archie in a tentative 16th. Uh, although, as we said before, the order is a little bit whack because that's the official qualifying results but they're a little bit they're a little bit uh weirded out not sure what's going on there any case we're oh, coming looks up like to they're session on the grid. start they're gonna have, looks like they're gonna have a, a full, full formation lap at spa that's a lengthy endeavor right i mean right <laughs> matt yes sir oh ooh, okay we're gonna have some uh some some uh, phantom ghosting action. Someone tries to figure out the uh, beginning pace. I don't believe they're allowed to use the the the, the formation tool, right? Or the the app. Oh, the ghost didn't press drive. He's in the pits. I w that's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I don't think these guys know what's going on either. Uh, it's pretty safe to say that I think Rob Stewart is trailing Archie by a considerable margin. Not entirely sure what's going on there. Where are you looking? Not looking at the game. Me as well. He's he's way behind. Uh, he's way behind uh, Archie. He's in the 88 Aka ASP Mercedes. You're not wrong. <sighs> Oh, boys. I'm going to open my game as well so I can set the track map going at all times. Just for a little situational awareness. 
All right, you hold on the floor. I'm going to get a drink. Okay. <laughs> Uh, as a side note to all, all those watching at the moment, uh, how are we doing? Uh, let us know. This is a this is an old format we're doing, but uh, we're we're trying to introduce some new uh, new players into the the broadcasting game. Obviously, Matt Higgins is not a newcomer to this, but we're trying to get him involved in more things. Let us know how you feel about that. So I'm gonna pull a little executive decision here and move us up to the front of the field, Brandon Baker. Come on. Oh, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, it seems. You know, there's Brandon Baker way ahead of the rest of the field. Not entirely sure what's going on there. That is, uh, well, I'm sure they'll catch back up before the lap is over, but there's a bunch of, bunch of shenanigans going on. We still have, of course, um, couple of corners left including the bus stop that should be a nice equalizer so as usual it's a 40 minute race with uh, no required pit stops I believe um, I'm used to doing the uh, GT challenge so I'm not as familiar with that rule but I think that's how it goes. Okay, so they're rounding the final corner through the bus stop, and we'll be green flags really soon. And as Baker crosses the line... No, they got a little ways to go. They got to go around the source first. Oh, is that where they start in this one? Yeah. Oh. I, I the one so going down to Eau Rouge is the starting line. The one that they went just went across is the timing line. Oh, Baker's pretty far ahead of Skanovich. Uh, not that oh, far. Oh boy, what the hell's going on at the start? Just maybe a second or so. Because everyone's trying to bunch up. Now he's crossing the, the line, right? And green. We indeed, indeed, we are green flags waving for round six. Oh, good start from Baker there. Ooh, that camera from Mo Rouge is nice. Oh yeah. Looks like Lagoshi is still having technical issues. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. I don't know if he had technical issues. No, he forgot to best oh, yep. drive before he it started. To best drive. So. Oh, what a shame. Ooh, they're three wide in the background there. Not entirely sure who that is. Let's control the camera. Let's see if we can get back there. I'm just going to take this real quick. Of course, that's not working. Well, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. Let's go to Helicam and get a little better view of this. Oh, looks like they kind of resolved their issues. That's boring. I want to see some carnage. Looks like Alex I Shine is hot on the heels of Tommaso Biena here. Come on, Alex. I've been coaching you. You can do this. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's a good time to... Oh, Alex Shine goes wide. Is that... Oh, here comes David Jones, though, behind. Are he going to be sending them to Davy Jones's locker? <sighs> if you I could to... roll my whole body, I would. Do it. Uh oh. What's the. <laughs> 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 that was nice. Meanwhile, Tommaso Bino has lost Alex Shine after that little off and pool. And it appears that he's caught up to Archie and Northrop ahead. So as you guys may have may not have noticed, our returning veterans do get some ballast uh, that showed up in the timetable a little bit. But and it can also be awarded for uh, getting first place and second. Looks like there was a little bit of an issue. Oh yeah, that's Butler. Oh no, Butler spun Butler. in the Butler spun in the run up to uh, the bus stop. It seems. John Archie's already up to. Ninth place, they're from last. Effectively. Definitely doing well. I mean, we, I don't know what else to expect from Archie. Looks like we got a uh, Northrop trying to go around the outside, or Archie going around Northrop. And he makes it happen through Lasaurus, a very tactful back out. In well, he's not, by, he's not by him yet. He's got to go down to Eau Rouge. Oh, they're going to fight into Eau Rouge. Let's get a camera on those guys, I think. 
Oh, he backs out. That's probably a wise choice. Although... Oh, that's going to be a track limit from Northrop there. That's going to be a warning. But I don't think they can give him anything concrete. No, well, it's going to be a, a warning, but... There's a, there's a battle between Foster and Morris up ahead. Anthony Morris, both in Lamborghinis. Although, just kidding, it looks like Archie's going to have another look. Very nice. And completes the move. Very nice. Nothing more to be said about that. That was just clean. Crispy clean. Crispy clean. Well, I, like I Inu, remember that to Crispy Cream. Looks like Inu Lagoshi has gotten it gotten it figured out as far oh, as getting out I of the I think we've lost one. We're down to fifth to fourteen. Uh who is that? Not sure. We lose. Not hundred percent sure at all. Butler. Oh, did he quit? Oh, what a shame. Terminal damage it seems. Well, I mean, not even, because, you know, you can fix terminal damage in this game. Sort of. <laughs> well, it, There's it some damage that it just doesn't do. It costs you a hefty amount of time, but you can still get the car out. Looks like their best uh, fight going on right now is Chris Stephenson versus Dave Jones. Let's, let's pull that up a little bit. Oh, uh, they're close-ish. Yeah, they were closer when I was looking at them. Either that or Nelson versus Iskanovich. Now, Nelson's been a bit of a uh, wild card in this particular series. Uh, he's not usually like that. Um, ex yeah, oh, actually, we're going we're gonna to shut down the director. This is really annoying. A little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, but yeah, like I said, normally Nelson is not much of a wild card, although we were seeing a uh, scary happen. What is going on here? Is the director like, not connecting? Oh, you don't have the settings. Well, we don't need the settings unless you're doing automatic, but this is uh, being a little bit of a shyster. It's not oh, well, it's, it, it wasn't. It wasn't helping us anyway. We uh, had Nelson versus Skanovich, as I said. And now it's Nelson on Foster. No, Nelson's the Ferrari and uh, Skanovich is the uh, yellow Lamborghini. Uh, no, Skanovich is a pad, that's Foster. Oh, you're right. No, oh, it is Foster. You're right. Okay, my apologies. You're right. So, yes, yeah, something happened. Look through a Rouge. There was a problem. And now it's our two veterans, David Nelson and Larry Foster, going at it. We should call Larry LaRay Foster. LaRay Foster. I dig it. The director's just. It's, Big it's oofing. Well, you know, trial by fire, right? You can't like we can't make it too easy on Matt. Yeah, big oof. You know, Rob Stewart has fallen down to 14th behind Ina Lagoshi. Must have had an accident. Probably it looked like there was a spin through a rouge, although I didn't get a good look at it. Battle for fourth continues. Looks like there's a little bit of heat coming up with Gianmarco Silvestri and uh, Karolina Skandovich ahead. She's been slowly wheeling them in for the last couple of laps. Uh, but very slowly. That's a battle we might have to keep eyes on later. Oh, right now, John Archie versus, uh, I believe that's Anthony Morris right now. Archie is being absolutely a menace. Let's get that going. They go three oh, wide or two wide through uh That's an interesting three wide. And now Morris is under fire from Northrop as they go into the bus stop. And looks like looks like Northrop gave the position. Wow, Archie with a double overtake in the last uh, last sector there. That was fantastic work. No, it was only a single overtake. Northrop oh, never got past Morris. Oh, you're right, you're right. Okay. Well, John Archie continues his uh, his drive through the uh, through the field. Baker's only 1.4 seconds ahead of Silvestri, so he's not getting away. He's not. Meanwhile, I just get a look. The uh, the battle between Nelson and Foster is heating up even more. And Archie, but looks like Morris is also going to have another attempt at Archie. 
Oh, yeah, he's gonna go wide. Let's get to the wide camera. Oh, he wants to go around the outside, but it's not gonna happen. And then immediately, Foster gets really tight on Nelson. Man, I wish you had more cameras. <laughs> There's a rapidly building train coming up behind. Oh, as Larry Foster gets a little bit squirrely. So that'll put a dampen on his fight for fourth. But John Archie is uh, leading Anthony Morris, Jake Northrup, Tomas Sabino, and Alex Shina into, uh, what is that, um, Pouin? Oh, no, he's exited Pouin. Um, yeah, this is, uh... The unnamed is... corner, right? No, these are the left, right of. Uh, let me just bring it up here. It is Oops. campus. Oops! Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The game has gone to windowed. Yeah, it is. There we go. We got it back. Yeah. There we are. This is not going great, is it? That's fine. <laughs> no, I, I'm, not, I'm not even joking. It's fine. Oh, Larry Foster getting a little bit squirrely in the bus stop. We see the battle behind for fifth, sixth get uh, pretty heated I, as well. I wonder if Larry got a, a break from his bows because he's usually been around ninth or eighth. Yeah, something like that. It's certainly possible. I mean, we could, we could check on that if... Uh... Uh, can confirm Larry Foster has 35 kilograms of ballast. Ooh, and John Archie gets a huge breakaway from the battle behind after they go through the source. So currently we're tied uh, three way for who has the most ballast. Uh, Jean Marco Silvestri in second, uh, John Archie in sixth, and uh, Jake Northrup in eighth, all with 45 kilograms. And Larry Foster is not letting David Nelson have any breathing room at all. He caught right back up after that foible in the, in, in, in the bus stop. And it's allowing John Archie to make tremendous pace up to the, the battle ahead. Meanwhile, the fight behind to Morris and Northrup is a little bit dissolving. As Tommaso Bino behind uh, begins to catch up more. Did you know that spot is located near the German border? Uh, yeah. I guess it's that not makes too. Sense. It's not too far away from the Nurburgring. That's pretty cool. Fun fact. Oh, fun here's fact. Legoshi on Foster and Nelson. Uh, Let's that's that's Archie. That's John Archie. Can I say Archie? You said Legoshi. Oh yeah, I meant Archie. He's been catching up for the last lap or so. The uh, the Larry Foster has been continuing to make little mistakes, and it's slowing down his progress. But he's been catching back up to Nelson every time. Now it looks like Archie might have to have a run. No, he's not gonna do it. He's gonna have to go into the bus stop. Although he's right there. <laughs> this will this will be tasty. Is Archie gonna dive? Nope. He's just gonna he's just gonna pace himself out a little bit. Oh, Nelson gets a horrible launch out of the bus stop, and they're too wide. Oh, Archie might make it three. Oh, nope. He's, uh, He'll try. He can try. He's, he's, smartly, not work. he's smartly avoiding that. Will Nelson get the cutback? Oh, it's oh, contact. No. Oh, Nelson spins, and Foster goes wide. Archie picks up two spots, and Nelson is... Oh, and he get, Nelson gets hit by Bigino. Tommaso. Is it Biglino or Bigino? It's it. i am heard it's pronounced Bigino. Like you, know. you just uh, you just ignore the L and the G. <laughs> big no, B no. <laughs> so Nelson is uh, is fall has fallen back and rests currently at 12th, but he's now doing battle with Chris Stephenson, and depending on his damage situation, he might have to concede that position. I'd say he just has some minor arrow damage from that. 
Well, he took a nice shunt from uh, from from Tommaso, but I suppose we'll have to see. Meanwhile, it looks. Uh, do you want to switch us to second place, Matt? Uh, looks like there's a yeah. battle between John Marcus Silvestri and Carolina. Uh, it's Carolina Hiskanovic. Apologies. Uh, going on. That's pretty intense. Sorry for the abrupt camera changes. Our normal uh, tool is uh, exploding. Wow, is that Brandon Baker? That's Brandon Baker. Yeah, Brandon Baker had a, an off in pool, it looks like. Now got passed by Jean Marco Silvestri. Let's see if Baker can come, can come back from that. Are you talking into a sock, Matt? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I'm talking to your sock, actually. Oh, baby. I'm going to keep eyes on the battle for sixth between Anthony Morris and Jake Northrup. That's heating up a little bit as well. Although well, that's, that's gone up and down in the last, like, three laps. So. so Silvestri, the, uh, the dark horse of the series, not due to pace, but just due to bad luck, it seems like, is now... Well, he's had race. terrible luck. And... You know, I don't mean to slag on Sylvester too much, but it's mostly been, or some of it's been self-inflicted. Um, okay, he here comes Baker back at him. So you can get a dive so, into the source. No. Uh, he's going to try and cut him back. Although, no, he goes around the outside. That's a bit of an odd choice. I would have gone for the cutback. Maybe he tried. It didn't look like Sylvester tried to cut him off too much, so maybe that's just an error on, on Baker's part. Oh, and Tommaso Bina got Oh, no! Passed. Oh, no! Brandon Baker! Oh, he's out. What happened, Matt? I, do, I wasn't watching. I was looking at the overview. He went through Eau Rouge and coming up to Radion. He just... The car just did a hard right to the wall. Oh, no. What a tragedy. From first to second to... I won't say last, but that's going to be painful at the very that's least. That's soon to be last. Look, he's up to eight. Oh, no, he's, he's still in eighth. Oh, we have another spin. The number 11 car, that's Chris Stevenson. So Brandon Baker is slotting in with Inu Lagoshi. Oh, that's so rude. She has front end damage. So, but he slotted in right with uh, Anthony Morris and um, and Jake Northrup for a second. So he is uh, he's causing quite a bit of shakeups. Inu Lagoshi is struggling to get by him, too. Oh, it's Morris because by Northrop there. And oh the no name. Yep. So so by virtue of Baker's kinda interesting situation, looks like Biuna's getting held up as well. Causing Dave Jones to get a little bit of a run on him. Oh I'm at just uh, FYI, I I forgot you might not have noticed. Uh, I do a lot of um in these streams when I'm co-commenting, I do a lot of just kind of overview talk. So you don't you don't have to uh, switch the, the camera to everything I, I say. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of talking as I see it. Of course you want to, no big deal. But uh, just, that's just how I uh, how I roll when I'm co-commenting. Big battle here from with Morris, Northrop, and Lagoshi in the three Lambos. Yeah. So Baker getting off and rejoining around them has caused quite a huge kerfuffle. The 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 triple Lamborghinis. Are gonna have to duke it out and see what uh, what happens. I wonder if uh, what's his name, Lagoshi purposely started. Do you think he purposely started from the pits? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why he would do that, but it's certainly possible. Who is getting real racy? Baker is into the pits. Smart choice, I believe. Yeah, that camera angle through a rouge is so cool. <laughs> I love that. Love the camera angle. The Red River is uh, quite a beautiful sight. Who is is oh. The ghost is going at it through uh, Lacombe. Oh, forces both him and Northrop wide. They have to cut the track, and we end up where we were, except for Morris is slightly further ahead now, it seems. Yep. And Biglino's, Biglino is closing out on him as well. 
do that kerfuffle. You're not wrong. Uh oh. Scan the bitch. We might be trading. Uh, we might be trading Morris for uh, Bino in this fight back there. I'll keep eyes on that. Yeah, you keep eyes on that. I'll keep an eye on the battle for first place here from Skanovich and Silvestri. So as I mentioned before, Silvestri has uh, had a little bit of poor luck. Looks like Lugosi's going to have at it. I'm just going to keep you uh, up on the second of uh, the background here. Lugosi was having a look at, uh, at Northrup for a second, but he decided to pull out of that maneuver. But, you know, still catching. Anyway, as I said before, Silvestri has had a pretty poor run of luck. Some of that is uh, self-inflicted just because he falls into that category of drivers that is very, very fast in short bursts, but uh, they can sacrifice some long-term staying power uh, what with uh, you know being inconsistent a little bit. Uh, he's gotten much better since we first uh, met him in the academy, but he still struggles with that a little bit. Being able to uh, being able to catch up and catch up to and pass Baker and Iskanovich is going to be uh, a pretty a pretty good indication that he's. Oh yeah, they're evolving. real close. You know, Lagoshi diving under Jake Northrup under the source. Way out breaks himself, but that's gonna stick. You know, Goshi up in sixth place. Looks like Janovich is only about is under a second behind Silvestri, so maybe she can help make something happen here. Oh wow! Jake Northrup botches El Rouge, allowing Bino through. Bino, Tommaso Bino up into seventh place. Well, that's not good. It got really sketchy for a second there. I was wondering if he was going to spin it. Did you know a Belgian driver has never won the Belgian Grand Prix? Really? Yeah, never. Huh. Jackie X came close, but no one's ever run it, won it from Belgium, so. Huh. Yeah, I don't know enough about F1, but uh, the, the like nationality of the whole thing is interesting to say the least. Chris Stephenson is into the pits. Uh-oh. Oh, I've heard his front-end damage. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Whoa, getting really close. Karolina Hiskanovic on Gianmarco Silvestri. I'm not familiar with the uh, nuances of the Ferrari. How, how would these two cars compare, do you think? The Ferrari is a lot safer than the Lambo does. That makes sense. Lambo is pretty. Lambo and Audi are pretty. They're pretty twitchy and oversteery, which is wow, what I like. Um, I like the I like the rotation. I think the Ferrari that that's that has to be the Evo variant, right? Because it's, it's the Evo uh, Evo. The Evo Evo. Actually, technically, it's it's legally the Evo, but it's technically the Evo Evo. That was the second Evo. Because in 2016, which is when the 488 came out, there was it had round exhaust tips, and then it was evilized a a year or so later. But it wasn't an Evo version. It was just like I don't know, like an update. But there was then they called that the 488 GT3, and then they Evo Evoed it last year. Oh, very interesting. I wonder when they're gonna switch to the F8 Tributo. Hopefully never. Why? I have a thing against Ferraris. That's fair. I mean, but from a Ferrari point of view, it, it makes sense that they would switch to that eventually, I would imagine. I mean, Probably in a few F years. In a few years. Whoa! Through a Rouge almost had contact as uh, Chris Stevenson rejoined. Ian Lugosi almost demolished him. The frickin' the pit out in Spa is so bizarre. I don't understand it at all. Um, I guess <laughs> I don't need to. But it, it does result in a lot of almost clobberings through a rush. So they're kind of, aside from the leader battle right now, there are two three ways nice going on. We got Dave Jones, Chris Stephenson, and Alex Shine. Uh, Stephenson is obviously a, a lap down from those two. Uh, I think it's Inu Stevenson. Le Stevenson? Okay. Well, Inu Lagoshi. Tommaso Bino and Jake Northrup battling for sixth. Sixth. 
Six. Yeah. Uh, any any battles happening throughout the grid? AC. I mean, that was that I just described. The, uh, the, there's a couple of three ways going on, nice, between Tomas Abino, Inu Lagoshi, and Jake Northrup. And there's another one going between. Well, actually, it's kind of dissolved. It's really just Alex Shine versus Chris Stevenson. Alex is in tenth. Is he? Did something happened. What? Did something happened to Alex? Because Alex is in tenth. Well, they're not battling for position. I guess they're. they're oh, they're just, uh, they're they're just, they're just on track. Yeah. Uh, some, another one closing in is Anthony Morris versus Larry Foster for fourth place, but they're still a little ways out. Currently, yep, the leaders is where we want to be. I think. I do like that Lamborghini livery. As a result of Lamborghini being just like super extra, whoa, I got a little close. Um, as a result, as a result of Lamborghini just being super extra, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, just because you know, okay, we get it, you like hexagons, but I gotta say their liveries are pretty on point. I say the liveries are more have to do with the teams than the than the manufacturer. Oh yeah, no, oh yeah, absolutely, but. Uh, you know, coincidence or not, the Lamborghinis do seem to have the best liberties, liveries, in my opinion. Yeah. Dave Jones still fighting for a ninth place with nobody around him. <laughs> Except Alex Shine, he's only 1.4 seconds back. Oh, whoa, Alex Shine, speaking of, just uh, almost lost it through a rouge. Had to cut a huge chunk of it, almost hit the wall. I actually gained quite a bit of time, though, on Dave Jones. By nature of, you know, he's gonna have to lift, or else he'll get a track limit warning. I believe it. Anthony Morris versus Larry Foster is heating up, but still, our leaders are uh, are valuable stuff. As we begin to break into the final 15 minutes here, what are you eating? Cole? Are you eating something? I'm not eating. Wait, wait, I, was just, I, I was just making conversation. Oh, hey, oh, okay. Uh, I can eat something. This water. Gulp. Delicious. I could go for a cheeseburger, though. That sounds delicious. I've, you've had In N Out, right? Uh, not in a long time, but uh, normally when I do, it's pretty fun. I've never had oh. it. Oh, you're talking about the restaurant. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was making, yeah, a, bad cool. I was, not, I was making not, a bad sex joke. No, <laughs> uh, not like that, Cole. Get your mind out of the gutter. Hey, I don't know. You wanted to have a conversation. That's a pretty interesting conversation. Uh, I've never had In-N-Out Burger, no. Really? Uh, you went to California and didn't get In-N-Out? Yeah, I mean, I don't put stock in the freaking huge social media like revolution that goes on with fast food places sometimes. Like, I just straight up don't get it. Is there is there a revolution? Well, I don't know, but the way people talk about In and Out Burger, you'd think it's like the best thing since freaking sliced bread, right? But God, I've heard that enough times. I mean, like it just you don't okay, get. Okay, so 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 remember when? Remember when? Uh, what was it? It was. Popeyes released their spicy chicken sandwich, right? Yeah, and, that's good. And there were huge lines like stretching around stores, hours and hours of waiting for this freaking sandwich. Oh, we got a car off in a rouge. Oh, that's Anthony Morris. It's Anthony Morris. You're right. Oh wow, that car does not look happy. I wonder if he saved it. Let's get another view on that one. And Alex Shine also. No, he has some for an end damage. Alex Shine is off in a rouge. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. He teleported oh, back he, to the pits. He's out, I think. Oh, what a dramatic... What a dramatic falling out there. Oh, Rouge is the killer of cars today. I do I like those guys standing in the stands off to the left, though. They're obviously just like cardboard cutouts. <laughs> 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 like, if actually we get a view... Let's go visit. Oh, wow, we're going too fast. Okay, never mind. Abort mission, abort. <laughs> we're just going to go and visit the leads. <laughs> uh, wow, that, yeah, that is that is a killer. There's been so much destruction. We've had, what, two, three or four cars go three, off? Three at least. 
Yeah. I mean that one of the most challenging uh, corners in I would say racing. All all of racing, yeah. It's just I was trying to think of some other really challenging ones. Uh, the the corkscrew at Laguna Seca is another one. Well, the corkscrew's uh, not as bad, I don't think. Oh, it can catch you out. It's overhyped. I mean, well, if you have traction control like these freaking baby cars have. You uh, shut up, man. But, uh, ooh, we need the computer to control my right foot for me. Ooh. Uh, anyway, I was also thinking maybe Spoon and the Degners in Suzuka. Those are some pretty <laughs> good ones. Uh, I'd say Blanchimal is another tricky corner. What about the downhill what? section at Bathurst? Uh, yeah, what is that? Uh, leading up into Forest Elbow and stuff? Yeah, leading up into Forest Elbow. Yeah, I'd agree. Those are, those are pretty tricky. Especially those last couple of corners that I'm not entirely sure what the name is. I wouldn't call Blanchimont that difficult. I mean, in order to extract 100% speed, sure. But there's very little risk, I find, of like having a catastrophic accident. True, you got a point there. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, the whole of Kailami. Kailami's not that difficult. <laughs> yeah, right. That's just my personal bias. Because it sucks. What? Uh, what's the first corner? We got the number 11 car off in Oruza. Stephenson. Stevenson. Whoa! Gets almost demolished by David Nelson, who came by Oruza. That was a... Uh, well, you're not going to see it now. He's just passed him, but... Rob uh -oh, Stewart Rob got Stewart damage again, got it looks damage. like. Again? Huh. No, again? Didn't, didn't he, didn't he like, take a fat broadside during... Or uh, didn't he go fat into the uh, Rouge? No, I think that was Q Baker. Oh, that was Baker. No, Baker lost it. Oh, yeah, he was. Never mind. I don't Morris know. Morris is in the pits, too. Pits I fixing his damage. I don't freaking know. Uh, but what's the first corner in Brands Hatch again? Paddock Hill. Paddock Hill. Hence no, Paddock one, and it's a hill. That one can be pretty that one can be pretty uh pretty deadly. Yeah, it's a tricky corner. So the battle for lead is kinda of fizzled out. Larry Foster versus Inu Lagoshi for fourth would be something maybe we could look at. Also Tommaso Bino and Jake Northrop behind is kinda of closing in, but they're not as close. Oh, they're real close for fourth place. Oh, I love that camera angle. That's so good. Spa is one of those tracks that I love, but it hates me. <laughs> I can't run a good lap at Spa to save my life. But it, I guess you're you know, dead it, then. I guess it's like a. Uh, yeah, I guess it's like a. Uh, what, what do they call it? A Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm I'm held against my will, but oh. I'm like, love me. Lugoshi looks for the uh, looks for the inside. Doesn't make it. See if we can get through Rouge. And not die. Oh, a side note to Matt. Uh, so for the uh, these exterior F3 cams, uh, this set is kind of close in, the more actiony cams. The next set is kind of more downward facing, wider shots, and then the third set is a helicam. So. Oh, Lagoshi goes wide at Rouge and Radion. That's actually not Radion. Actually, that's that's what we've been seeing a lot. Like, uh, these drivers are clearly not afraid to, uh, take a little extra. Oh, uh, Morris gets stuck with the three seconds for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, what a tragic... Oh, he's... I just, uh, looked back at, at Morris, and he is... Uh, I can see why. He was being pretty, rec pretty, uh, reckless with his pit exit. <laughs> so maybe that's something to work on. Getting on board here. <laughs> Nico Nico Noi Noi <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Man, so, so I I might I might stream it Ooh, oh, the oh, going on the inside Oh, oh. yeah, Larry Foster a tap and he spins Is the Goshi gonna wait up? It looks like it Wait, did no. he actually spin? Yeah, I think Larry spun. Is he still back there? Oh yeah, he's he's still falling. He's in the he's off road.
So yeah, he ends up sliding in behind Jake Northrup and Tommaso Bini, who are also fighting for position. So I guess we can just follow that somewhere. <laughs> that appears to be the closest uh, battle going on right now. Uh, looks like John Marcos, as a side note, looks like John Marcos Silvestri is putting some tracks on Karolina Hiskanovich. He's now got almost two seconds between them, and he's pulling away slightly. Looks like he's getting away at 10th per lap. More or less. More Only six or minutes or to go. Oh, Tommaso oh, Bino way Bino. off at the bus stop. Foster might be able to pick up this position if he plans his move carefully enough. Are we going to see happen? Oh, now Foster's turned out to break himself Let's a see it fly out through a rouge. Scary. <laughs> Meanwhile, Northrop is away with the battle behind for uh, six. He's cashed that check and he's gone. Well, he's trying to. I don't think Bina will have him. Whoa, that's Whoa, taking a lot of curve. Larry. Taking a lot of curve. Can't take that much, Larry. That is the that's the that's the tricky part of a rouge, at least in my experience, is getting cutting it hard enough that you can just go flat out. Normally I can't just because I'm scared. Oh, it's raining. Oh, you're right. As you can see there in the uh, weather forecast in the top right of the screen, it's the, the we have an addendum forecast. It's currently raining, and it's light rain. Adding... It should be fine. We only have five minutes left, so they shouldn't be too worried. Uh oh, track has gone. The past two corners has gone from optimum to green to greasy. That's, That's greasy. Like That's greasy. Greasy. Oh no, Larry! Oh no, Larry Foster! Turn right up the PC up, boys. Leading up into Pouin. Uh oh. Something's oh, the, going on with. That's, that's Lagoshi. Oh, Lagoshi spun. He's got huge damage. Skanovic spun. Q, that's a lot of damage meme. Archie's gonna have, maybe have a look. Let's go back up. Oh, yep. He's through. Oh, that's a very stricken Lamborghini of Karolina Skanovic. Lagoshi teleports to the pits. That'll be probably the end of his race. Or at the, the end of a uh, competition, shall we say. This is this is a terrible time to be doing this because, yes, it is it is greasy now. Oh, way out breaking yourself, Carolina. But you stand to lose a lot of time by going back to the pits now. But oh, if your car is sure. bad enough, it can be worth it. Can we get maybe so on board and see how bad her, how bad her uh, steering is? Oh, it's not bad at all. It's just aero damage. We she will brief, have to live for Uru for sure. We got a brief look at her last and best time. She was almost 15 seconds slower in last lap. Oh, that's because she spun. She spun. Never mind. Oh, that's so uh, scary. That is so scary. I don't like that at all. Oh, man. Yikes. That is a big, fat yikes. We have the car off in, uh, in uh, was it Radion? No, it's Alex Shine. Oh, poor Alex. Now I have a good day. In the lead up to Lacolm. Oh, it looks like Archie's closing in on Gianmarco Silvestri. He's only 4.8 seconds now. That's still a pretty substantial amount of time to get back. It's not impossible. We've seen weirder things happen. I mean, just look at Carolina's last lap. But... Although maybe, maybe I mean, of all the people, if you if you said I if you said one person was going to spin, who is that? I went back to the pits. It's Alex Shine. Okay. Oh, poor Alex. I wonder if it's supposed to rain. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you if you asked if you said Cole in this next race, someone is going to spin, and it'll be for position. I would put money on Sylvester. Well, I guess oh, and Carolyn Haskanovich te teleporting into the pits. Looks like she had an accident again. Shame oh, we can't no. get a replay though. I mean, we could. We could but try. the director doesn't work. Oh, you're right. The director isn't working. That's correct. Oh, maybe it is working. Oh, well, maybe. Oh no. No, it's not working. We're gonna we're gonna get an inopportunely timed uh, replay here in a second. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dang it. On Archie. Okay. <laughs> On Archie. Oh, well, we can see oh. Iskanovich. I guess that's where she spun. 
That's that, out of uh, no name. Is that the lead up to Pool? Oh, okay. It's into it's in the it's the corner before pool. Okay, we're now we're just gonna look at some cars for for a minute. <laughs> oh, uh, Anthony Morris spins. Oh in no! no name. So sacrificing tenth place, and that with that stop and go penalty, that's devastating. Man, if there's one place to not get a penalty, it's freaking Spa. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially and, a drive through or anything like that. It looks like oh, Morris maybe... is still struggling. What's going on? Oh, there Sorry, I was, I was taking control of it. You got it now. And all maybe the Archie can't out. close in on him. I don't think so. He's over five seconds out with charitably two laps. Unless he crashes. Oh, that's going to be a track cut. No, I think he's going slow enough that the game registers that it's no time gained. Well, I don't understand what ACC is like. I don't understand what its system is because in the last race in the GT4 series at, at Suzuka, I was there, and I cut or I went wide on Degner too so many times, but it kept saying uh, no time gained, you know, and so no penalty. I mean, my yeah. lap wasn't validated, but whatever. And but one time I go wide on the spoon and I'm like, ah, oh, crap. And it and I rejoin and I definitely gained some time, but I didn't, you know, make a position up. And it said, "Warning, final warning, three three penalties or three uh three cuts." Final like, warning for track limits. Yeah, for track limits. And I'm like, wait, what? But I didn't. It's easy to get a spoon. It is. You know, it totally is. And I, you know, it's still definitely my fuck up, my fault. But I'm like, what? It didn't. It it just all of a sudden say you have three three uh three infractions or whatever. Maybe like, just didn't realize that you got warnings that's possible it is possible i will say that i will also say however that whenever that giant red freaking blurb appears oh no larry foster gets sweet he gets really uh squirrely on the run up to pool uh, he ends up saving it but it, it was close i'll just say that much the morris serving a penalty rob stewart also serving a penalty or uh, i think that's pitting for damage uh, what a, what a disastrous race for these drivers! It all Whoa, sta it all so started with Barker. How did it end oh, up like oh. this? Is that Blanchemont? The, yeah, no, that's corner like before Blanchemont. That Celestri no, went wide no, to the grass. That's Blanchemont, right? It was the corner the before stop. Blanchemont that it's the bus stop here. It was the corner before Blanchemont. It's a slight left before that he went wide. Oh, okay. And Archie's now seven seconds behind. And, and with that, Silvestri you, you wins the, the race. Line. John Marco Silvestri, our first place. Look at that last lap. 242.4. Almost five. That's pretty uh it's pretty intense. And John Archie finishes second. Northrop is rounding the final corner. Larry Foster, ooh, getting squirrely on the bus stop again. But he's done it. One more corner or one more straight and he's out of there. Foster crosses the line. Now it's Tommaso Bino's turn. And he's done it. David Nelson rounding out in sixth place. So what a uh, turn of events for David Nelson. I just noticed. What a roller coaster of emotions. Started out in a pretty good position in sixth place, had some drama, went down, then up, then down again, and is resting up exactly where he started, sixth place. So, congrats to Mr. David Nelson. Dave Jones now crossing the line. Huh, uh, try I don't get the. Try pressing U. U. Oh, there or, we go. Uh, try I. There you go. Um, yeah, David Jones crossing the line. Brandon Baker ended up with a disastrous uh, turn of events, but ended up being not too bad. He's now rolling up into uh, Blanchemont in a minute here. That hasn't technically crossed the line. Chris Ste Stevenson finishing in 10th. Good uh, 
Karolin Hiskanovich now rounding the bus stop, about to finish. I do like that little shark mouth livery in the bow, dude. That's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's Phoenix Racing for you. <laughs> and there's Hiskanovich crossing the line. Next up, Brandon Baker. So it looks like Anthony Morris didn't serve his stop and go penalty and is about to cross the line. That's got to be like 150, 180 second I think, penalty? I think it's 90 seconds. Oh, 160. Holy crap. That's brutal. That's at least, that's like two, that's almost two minutes. No, that is like it's over, over two, two minutes. minutes. It's two, almost two and a half minutes. Or it's over two and a half minutes. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh, and we lost our game. No. What? <laughs> well, it's okay. At least the race is over. Uh, well, our Discord or our, uh, our our voice chat wasn't on. Uh, join our Discord. <laughs> ESR-race.org. All that good stuff. Let's uh, maybe get, um... well, I suppose I might as well just have, might as well just start ACC again. Well, I mean, it was going so well, too. Oh, perfectly. No issues. I mean, I think it was going fine. Should we join in the, uh, the... oh, no, we couldn't, can't do uh, interviews, can we? I mean, we could. Uh, it'd be a little bit of a, a, a juggling act, because we'd have to figure out eh, probably best not to do any interviews right now just because we'd have to do that through discord and uh, get that all figured out let's try and rejoin real quick gotta say i mean this is kind of an interesting trial by fire i've never had the game crash itself during a discord and the server isn't showing up did you do esr space did the server crash? No, it's still up. I'm in it on oh, my regular up. computer. Yeah, that's ACC. The game with one of the worst interfaces I've ever seen. <laughs> bar none. Anyway, it looks pretty. Ooh, mm, look at that bar... vignette. A what? There's a little... It was all blurry because it hadn't loaded incorrectly. It looked like a cinematic <laughs> vignette. There's Brandon Baker. Uh, let's move to timetables real quick. So there's our final finishing order. John Marco Silvestri, John Archie, Jake. No, actually, you do it, Matt. First place is John Marco Silvestri. Next is John Archie with 6.1 seconds behind. Then Jake Northrup, Larry Foster, Tomas Viglino, Brandon Baker, and people are leaving. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. I took a screenshot uh, of the of the final results, so I'll just go through it. Never mind. Oh man, it's falling apart. <laughs> Jake North in third place, Larry Foster fourth, Tommaso Bean a fifth, David Nelson rounding out sixth place, David Jones falling shortly behind in seventh, Brandon Baker tentative eighth, uh, Rob Stewart in ninth, Chris Stevenson tenth, uh, Katrina or uh, Carolina. Why is it Katrina? Carolina Hastanovich in eleventh, uh, with a disastrous uh, final couple of laps for. Uh, Anthony Morris in 12th with that huge 162nd penalty. Inu Lagoshi in 13th, qualifying first, but ending up having technical difficulties. Alex Shine in 14th with that one spin at a rouge. James Butler with a disastrous first lap. And uh, Perugini in 16th? I don't think he ever started. Uh, well, we'll just have to see at the results there. Um, but wow, what a uh, what a cluster. And, now, and the rain is even coming down harder now. Holy crap. I guess they should be glad they got out when they did, huh? Yep, things kind of fell apart towards the end. But we live for that. We do, we do. Um, but anyway, that is our race. Uh, Matt, would you like to do uh, an outro of some sort? Everyone, join us in the description down below. You know where we are. We're ESR Racing. I'm Matt Higgs. That's Cole McRae. Right? That's your name? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. That's close enough. All right, I'll take. I think we'll take that. <laughs> well, I'm not picky. We have Discord. Join our Discord. We we race anything from Race Room, ACC, RF2. Just our main GT sim is ACC, just because it's it does it so well, and it and it has, it has no flaws whatsoever. 
Oh yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, don't forget Wreckfest. We're trying to get oh Wreckfest too Friday nights. If if you have absolutely no skill but just want to like just go a little bit nuts, Wreckfest, fantastic game, at Bugbear Studios. We have races on Fridays, uh, and just just so you sick know, drink wherever. minimum. Exactly, just so, just so you know how low the stakes are. Most of us are half drunk when we do this. So, uh, provided you're of legal age, of course, or not, just don't tell us. <laughs> that's fair <laughs> but yeah any more fi any final thoughts Cole nope I think that was basically it just want to talk about breakfast <laughs> more breakfast join us don't be shy don't be shy don't be shy and we'll see y'all next time at where are we next time Cole uh, that is a great question, Monster Higgs. Let me get, let me uh, grab that real quick. I, oh, of course, when I need to use it, it is the freaking website is slow. Next round will be at Bathurst. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Um, Mount Panorama, twenty twenty. That's so a... that will be that will be deadly. That'll be carnage. Beautiful, beautiful carnage. All right. Anyway, folks, we'll see you next time. I'm Matt Higgs. What's your I'm name? Cole McCray. Cole McCray. <laughs> this time. All right. See you, folks. Bye-bye.